During the American Civil War, after Abraham Lincoln released the final Emancipation Proclamation, we see an effort of black men now be able to join the United States military effort to preserve the Union. Here in Ohio, Governor David Todd sought permission from Secretary of War Edwin Stanton to raise a regiment here in Ohio in June of 1863. And so the 5th United States Colored Troops is going to be the first regiment formed in Ohio. So by the spring of 1864, Ulysses S. Grant is concentrating a large number of troops in the Richmond, Petersburg area, and black troops will serve from the spring of 1864 until the end of the war there, as a matter of fact, the largest contingency of black troops. One of Grant's goals is first to make sure that they can protect their supply lines, the railroads coming into the Petersburg, Richmond area. The other goal is to keep Lee from sending Confederate troops to the Shenandoah Valley to back up to help them. And this is what is happening when the 5th finds itself preparing to battle in what we call Newmarket Heights. And they are going to be in an area on Chaffin's Farm. And during this battle at Chaffin's Farm, these men are going to lose their white officers to being wounded or killed. And several of the men in the 5th, all first sergeants at this time, will take charge. They will take command. And in that, not only will they hold the line, they will break through in certain parts. As a result of this, four men from the 5th will earn the Medal of Honor for their actions there. Approximately 180,000 men served in the United States Colored Troops, and combined with the numbers of black men in the Navy, they composed almost 10% of U.S. forces during the Civil War. It was very difficult for anyone to deny their contributions. This is going to be an example for the larger African-American community, not only of their contributions, but for potential for the future.